2016, uh, our one and a half million fan will come through the gates here. And if you think about what this piece of land looked like exactly two years ago today, that's pretty remarkable progress for El Paso, and we're awfully proud to be associated uh, with that, certainly. So one of the most fun parts of, of my job in being, as base, in being in baseball is to meet a lot of great people and to foster relationships, and many of those have turned into lifelong friendships after, gosh, 21 years in this business. And uh, we had a chance last night to have dinner with the gentleman I'm about to introduce, and it just seems uh, for over two and a half hours that his personality is going to be pretty conducive to making a lot of friends here in El Paso. Um, he'll tell you a little bit about the previous time he has spent here in El Paso uh, as a Diablo player in 1999. So we are uh, really pleased uh, to introduce today the new field manager for your defending PCL Southern Division champion El Paso Chihuahuas, Rod Barajas. Rod, welcome back. To the Thank you, Chihuahua. It's an honor to be here. Um, you know, this is an exciting day for me. Uh, you know, towards the end of my career, uh, I knew baseball was, was what I was made to do. So I knew there was going to be a point where I was going to get back into, into baseball when I was done playing, and, and, and part of the managing part of it. And, uh, you know, I, I decided to go with the San Diego Padres, uh, you know, a great organization that, you know, I felt would. Uh, Give me the best opportunity to touch minor league players' lives, and uh, and uh, it's been exciting. It's been a great ride so far. Uh, I want to thank the Padres for uh, giving me the opportunity and having the confidence in me to to work with uh, these guys that are so close, that are that are uh, you know one call away from being major league baseball players. So thank you to San Diego, and uh, you know it, it, it's amazing. It's an amazing journey. Uh, you know uh, I didn't have the typical baseball. Uh, Experience that most people had never got drafted and uh, you know, that's kind of something that I want to you know the message I want to bring into to, to the players uh, Let them know that uh, This is a uh, this, this is what it's all about right here. It's about taking advantage of your opportunities and and uh, You know, I, I want them to know that uh, it Doesn't matter when when you were drafted uh, How much money you've got? Uh, you know, it, it's about it's about helping team win so you know, I'm glad the Padres uh, gave me this opportunity, and I feel like I can really, really uh, impact some guys' lives and hopefully uh, turn some career minor league AAA players into some big leaguers. So I'm looking forward to that. And uh, you know, just talking, going back to El Paso, you know, this was a place where in 1999, uh, some special things happened to me that year. It was probably the biggest year of my life. Uh, you know, I, I uh, first and foremost, I. This is where I got married. Not a lot of people know that. I, uh, you know, during the season, my, my, my girlfriend at the time was with me, and uh, you know, before a baseball game, before she had to go to work, he said, you know what, let's do this. Let's go to the courthouse and uh, let's get married. So we went down there and, uh, and we did it. We got married. Uh, she went off to work. I went off to the baseball field and went, went about our days. So you know, this is where uh, you know, the love affair of my life started. So you know, that's uh, something that uh, El Paso will always have. And, and, and something that I cherish. Uh, yeah, the next thing was my baseball career. Uh, I had a good year here in El Paso. Uh, you know, the fans were great. Uh, you know, there's nothing better than hitting a home run, and, and you see the fans passing the hat because you're making about 900 bucks a month. So, you know, they would pass the hat and throw some money in there, so me and my wife could go out and and uh, you know have a nice dinner. So, you know, that year it uh, kind of catapulted catapulted me to uh, you know my first big league call. -up. 1999 was a year that I got called up to the major leagues, and uh, you know, without having that that tremendous season that I had here in in, in, in double in double A uh, El Paso Diablos, it, it wouldn't happen. So, uh, you know, a special place for me and my family, and uh, we're all excited to, to be a part of El Paso again and uh, try to make some more special memories here. Uh, you know, talking to Pat Murphy, I talked to Pat Murphy quite a bit about El Paso and and Jamie Quirk. Uh, he said, "There's nothing like." It. He's like, "He's like, this is the big leagues. Playing in El Paso, coaching in El Paso is like the big leagues. The fans are second to none. Even major league fans." He said, uh, "Murph would always tell me that it's like a winter ball atmosphere. From pitch one, the fans are into it. The fans are chanting. The fans are the fans are alive. Uh, and, and that's what that's what brings the excitement in baseball. Now, I've played in a lot of major league fields where the fans just kind of sit on their hands. You don't hear a whole lot. And it's like you're playing Sunday ball with, with your family at the park." But when you uh, when you get into a stadium and an atmosphere where 
you know, the, the 7,000 or, or, or 50,000 fans are there to pull for you and they're to, to uh, you know, they have your back and they want to let everybody know. They're going to let everybody know that, that they're uh, rooting for this team, for this town. You know, it, it's special. So I'm uh, definitely looking forward to this opportunity, looking forward to being a part of the El Paso Chihuahua family and looking forward to doing something special. So thank you very much.